Hello everybody, welcome to a different kind of video with me. I'm going to be showing off some traditional pieces I've been doing in two videos because I'm taking a little break to ease off the strain on my hand after art fight and also thanks to Neopets Out The Door Cup. But anyway, let's get into this. For um, this little craft I drew five of my Neopets, not all of the ones that I have, just my five fave. <laughs> And I guess we'll start over here. This one is a Maraquin Lutari. These are quite small sizes, so I did have to kind of make do with the fact that there just wasn't enough space for the fins. I know that I could have made everything smaller, but trying to get the details in the face any smaller would have been really difficult. But I still really like this one. I think the colours are really cute. I think the expression's nice and sweet. I do have all my Neopets with closed eyes in this just because I feel like it looked nice and uniform for them all to just be happy and smiling. But yeah, that's my Maraquin Lotari. The next one is the one that I've had the most trouble with. I'm not sure how much it'll show on screen, but it is my little Valentine's Day Ixie, Sashora. And the paint cracked, the paint leaked, and I tried to seal it, it leaked, and so I had to take all the sealing off and fix up the issues within it. It was not the easiest uh, one of these, but I think it came out fairly cute in the end. I did have to stay simple. I do kind of wish I made her a little bit bigger, not have as big ears, but I think her big fluffy ears are really cute. So, yeah. The next one up is my alien Aisha. It is on a very cute pastel rainbow background. It is also in the back, but it got a little damaged, so not that satisfying. But I, I did really like how the background on this one especially came out. I chose an alien Aisha, and I, yes, also struggled to get all four of its little antennae on, because I wanted that nail pit for so long, and I kept, like, zapping and zapping and zapping Aisha's. And then when they turn out to be different Neopets, I would just keep having them until there was something that I thought someone might want and putting them back in at the pound. Or using Aisha um, morphing potions more recently because I would rather that than <laughs> add to the pound problems. But yeah, I thought this one was very cute. I had to recolour it because I just didn't like the original colours um, and decided to give it almost like a sort of glowing green light colour for all the details. The little um, A was really difficult for some reason. I guess it's just the size of it. It's kind of big, but it's also kind of small for the pins that I use. I use a mixture of Sharpie, not Sharpie, Posca and Ohu markers. I got a little set of those and I use the pastel Posca markers, which I, I do like both a lot, but Ohu has a bit of <laughs> cheaper price, obviously. Um, and Sharpies, I feel like, have more easily accessible colours, but they have a much higher price to get a variety. Anyway, we're going to move on to my <laughs> next Neopet, which is a Maraquin Yerbal, who I just love. His name is Logan. He's named after an OC that I used to have, who I have never stopped loving, even after not trying him for a long time. And while I don't really have anywhere I feel like I can use him in ever again. <laughs> I will let his spirit live on through my Neopet. Logan, the Maraquin Yerbal. I, th I think he's very cute. I gave some little dappling. It kind of looked a little bit like dust or sparkly, like sort of light coming down out the water. And uh, yeah, he's just a happy little guy. I think the Maraquin pets are some of the best and I really, really love dugongs. So. <laughs> He ended up being my absolute fave Maraquin pet in the end, even though some of them are really cool. But lastly, we're talking about my actual fave pet, <laughs> which is my mutant Ixie, Ebony Green. She is a, a little strange, a little alternative, <laughs> but also a very sweet, sweet little Ixie. Um, and she doesn't vary too much from the traditional mutant Ixie. Currently, the main difference is a broken horn. I don't think the normal one has that. I don't quite remember though, but anyway, that's how she looks. I gave her some big fangs too because I just like how they have this sort of overgrown teeth in the mutant version. Fun fact, one time I accidentally zapped her um, at the lab brain and she turned into something else immediately and I couldn't find any on the marketplace and a really cool person actually got me the <laughs> potion and I was really appreciative and they do really cool art so I'll probably link them down below. I know them as Foxy, <laughs> but yeah. 
she was she was saved by the the generosity of other Neopets players, and that's the little set. I think they're very cute and colourful, and have a decent mix of colours. I do wish one of them had like yellow in the background, but when you have Maracuan pets, they live in the water and they don't make a lot of sense being out of the water. But anyway, let me know what you think of these little guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.